Hello everybody. Okay, here we go. I got two uh, fresh batches of what I call the cheaper vodka because I'm using crappy regular sugar. But we're gonna make hand sanitizer today. We're not pickling our livers, we're making hand sanitizer. So I'll just run through the steps of this. Here we go. Okay, we have two drums. There is how many? Six, 18 pounds of sugar in each of them. No, it's not sugar abuse. And I need to add about four gallons of water to each one of them. And it's got to be above 76 degrees in temperature so that it won't kill the yeast when we add it. So this is 55 degrees. I'm going to take more water, heat it up, and we'll be back. Okay, so now we're going to do some mixing. You guys are going to laugh at my mixer. Yep, it was a paint mixer. Never used it for that is what it is. We need to get all that sugar dissolved. Regular cane sugar takes a lot more work for the yeast to dissolve it. So I'm going to mix that as much as I can. Over here, we're heating up water so that we can get the temperature in this above 76 degrees. Yeah. So the yeast won't die when it hits it. That's what we got there. We'll add more and be back. Okay, we're back again. We now have both five gallon buckets of spring water in each one of these. I've added a heater to the base of that. Kind of wrap it around, kind of wrap it around here for these cold nights, which we get clear into every night in Idaho. Um, it keeps things to where it doesn't drop below to where the yeast won't work. I'm at 85 degrees into both of these. So between the sugars and the yeast, they'll love that. I got two types of yeast I'm adding. This one will be done in 48 hours. It's kind of a quicker acting yeast. Um, the other is distiller's yeast. The distiller's yeast usually takes, uh, could take five days, two weeks. Um, but that'll at least get us going. Then I'm gonna use my fancy dancy mixer, mix that yeast up. I hope my battery's dying. And it's gonna start attacking all that sugar. I lost my videographer and I'm losing my battery. You can see that's still kind of clumpy because I'm going to have to break that up some more. Okay, I've got that all broken up pretty good. Now it's just a waiting game. I'm going to add these lids, there's one, there's two. All of this has been pre-sanitized with some special washing soaps. And then I'll put the water in the bubblers. That lets the pressure from the yeast eating the sugars get out without contaminants getting in so it stays good and pure. And it's going to be 48 hours for one and couple weeks for the other. We'll be back. Okay, this is day two. You can see these little guys. Bubbling away. The problem with doing it inside is now my house smells like a bread yeast factory, but it's all good. Okay, everybody, here we are. Uh, it's Friday. I don't know what day it is anymore. This lockdown at home, kind of everything runs together. So I think I'm day three or four on these. You can see this bubbler is doing nothing. That's my more aggressive one. So it's flat out done. 
what it looks like. This one, it's pretty much done also. I'll, I'll be able to run these side, well, one after the other anyway. Um, so I'll add the next video of where we go from here. Thanks for watching. Okay, so here we are. We got a wash that looks like that. Kind of smells like wine. Um, all the yeast should have sunk to the bottom, all the dead yeast. Typically I'd use an agent um, to pull this, sink it to the bottom more so that it'd be better tasting. Um, but I'm not making this for drinking, I'm making this for hand sanitizer. Sorry, I'm in the laundry room. Um, it's snowing outside, so I can't do this out in the garage. Um, I've got a device here, you can see that, you put it in, keep it standing straight up, and I'm going to siphon this out so I don't disturb that yeast in the bottom, keep it on the bottom where it needs to be. Okay, and there's what's... And there's what's going into my Turbo 500. So we're going to siphon all of this out into there. And we'll be back. Okay. I've got all my wash put into that still. It's heating up right now. This is where it's going to come out. Out of this area. I've got... a thermometer on it. This is a water-cooled Turbo 500 distillery. Um, right now it's at 19 degrees Celsius. I need it to be about 50 degrees Celsius and then I'll play with this water valve down here that will circulate water up into the body of this. Cool the the it's got porcelain and stainless steel that actually catch the alcohol to, in the condenser here. So this takes about, if I remember right, it's been a while. This has been in the garage for a long time. I haven't used it. So this takes about an hour, I think, to come up this steam. I'll be back. Okay, now we are coming up to temperature. You can see I'm about 46, 47. This is going to be unstable for a while until it gets a nice flow. See, I'm up to 50. I do have water running through it. This little valve right here controls it. If you even touch it wrong, it does make a difference. It's kind of a pain in the neck. But So see, I'm dropping back down, so I'm going to shut the valve just a tiny bit. Um, I got about four hours of babysitting this thing and th I should have a gallon of alcohol out of it. Once it starts producing I'll take another shot. Okay so I'm sitting here I've got about that much turpentine called the heads um, it'll make you go blind you got to pull that off of it throw it away kill weeds with it whatever um, until I can get this temperature stable now that it's coming to temperature it's not gonna produce anything good I guess for hand sanitizer it, it wouldn't be bad but I'm literally you can see them numbers jogging around. I'm literally just touching the water flow. You can see it, the water flowing through there, cooling. Water flows up through there, down through there. If I shut off the water, it starts to climb. Once it's stable, it'll run, like I said, for three to four hours. Pretty good. We've got a lot of, a lot of babysitting, but I can't leave it. Um, Right now, once again, we are at about that much in there. 
I'll come back when it's stable. Okay, I've got about, well not about, I got 56.4 degrees Celsius and you can see five, six, it's still stabilizing, it's doing pretty dang good. Um, I need, I, I'm just going to keep it under 60. That is the point of which alcohol is boiling and steaming up through the condensers, yet water is not, or other materials. And it hangs out in here. And I don't know if you can see that drip, but look at that in the bottom, crystal clear. We're going to let this run for a while and make hand sanitizer. Okay, so see the temperatures climbing? There it is. As this brew starts running out in here, the temperature starts climbing, making um, making it harder to still. So it's just kind of a never-ending watch on the temperature. But you can see that's all 190 proof sugar vodka. coming out of this bad boy and we're going to mix that with aloe vera and I guess lavender see we're about up to here crystal clear um, gonna make some good hand sanitizer I can't buy it anywhere I bought a little thing at Bed Bath and Beyond Bed Bath and Beyond Bath and Body Works something online and it was 20 bucks for a little freaking thing that like that big so this stuff is liquid crystal clear gold okay so i only got about a half gallon of 190 proof um is to be expected like i said this is nothing more than sugar i didn't do any of the charcoal cleaning um and so this isn't good quality anything all that matters i hope is that it's 190 proof and now we'll wait for the rest of the ingredients to show up because i got about a half gallon of it crystal clear very nice okay now we have our vodka it's cut down to 100 proof and i did take out a the right amount to mix with one half gallon of aloe vera so we'll open the aloe vera and we're going to pour that in then i'll mix it in and out shake it up good and we're going to add some doTERRA oil we've chosen citrus and you can just add that to your likings and stir okay now i've stirred this is what we got and we're going to put it into the big containers and you have hand sanitizer very strong hand sanitizer but that should work and here we have hand sanitizer gave a lot of it out already filled some of these containers down here these little guys little generic bottles Smells very orangey. Little spray bottles back here. And the rest just in storage bottles. And I still have that much of the alcohol left to make more. Another gallon if I wanted. But I think this will hold us off for quite a while. Thanks for watching.